Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. We've just gotten our hands on Sony's new flagship camera phone, the Xperia 1 Mark V. So what's new here? Let's find out in our hands-on video. The Xperia 1 Mark V is Sony's top flagship and they've again used the same squared off, tall and narrow design that we've seen for a while now. There are a couple of updates to the design though. There is sturdier Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on both the front and the back. And there is a texture to both the back and the frame, this time around, for extra grip. When it comes to audio, the Xperia 1 Mark V has an upgraded pair of front-facing stereo speakers, with a new amplifier for fuller sound. Just like last year, there's a 5000 mAh battery, but battery life may be better this time around thanks to the new chipset. It's the latest flagship grade Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which should be more power efficient than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in the previous model. And the performance should be better all around, especially since Sony claims significant improvements when it comes to thermal management. You'll find even more exciting changes in the camera department. The Xperia 1 Mark V has a new 48 megapixel main cam, a 12 megapixel telephoto that offers stepless zoom between 85 and 125 millimeters, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide cam. The main cam brings a new large CMOS sensor with an innovative stacked design. They've separated the photodiodes and transistors onto different layers instead of one sitting next to the other. This allows for larger photodiodes with much improved light gathering capability and also better transistors which should reduce noise. The other camera should be about the same as the previous model. Sony also brings new computational processing for nighttime shooting, and you can find a new night view mode in the interface. Overall, the low light capabilities on the Mark V's main cam should be the best we've seen yet on a Sony phone. Sony has updated their camera apps as well. That's plural, there are multiple on board if you're not familiar, and now the Photo Pro and Video Pro app can display their UIs vertically. They've also added focus speaking to the apps, and you can choose among several highlight colors for it. In the Video Pro app, there's now S Cinetone, a new color preset for video recording for those who are not into color grading and would appreciate a built-in cinematic look. And on the Xperia 1 Mark V, there's a mic on the backside now, next to the cameras. That's in order to get better voice recording when vlogging with the rear cameras, for example with Sony's dedicated rig. The rest of the Xperia 1 Mark V's features are pretty similar to what we've seen before from Sony. Just like the previous model, the phone is built around a 6.5 inch OLED display with a 4K resolution and tall, narrow 21 by 9 aspect ratio. The interface is again close to stock Android, but with a handful of proprietary Sony apps, like the camera ones I mentioned before. Charging still maxes out at 30 watts, and there's no charger or cable in the box. There's support for wireless charging too. The 3.5mm jack for headphones is still here, something you don't find often in flagships anymore. You can say the same about the microSD slot too. And finally, the Xperia 1 Mark V brings the same IP rated waterproofing at IP65 slash IP68. So there you have it guys, like the previous model, the Xperia 1 Mark V is launching at 1400 euros, and that will be in late June. Do you think it's worth upgrading to? Let us know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.